Kings and Queens, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. The servers are currently down. I played three matches against the bots and I got wrecked every single time. But because of that, I understand the power and I can explain everything a little bit to you before we jump on into the actual gameplay and Mori with the new maps and everything like that. Essentially, you are playing as this robotic AI that has found different parts and flesh and everything in order to kill all the people, uh, kill all the humans. Uh, the AI got infected with some alien technology on this planet and now wants to get rid of everybody. So here is what your power can do. Essentially, you have biopods that you can shoot around the map. I'll actually move my cam so you can read it yourself if you would like to. You have little biopods that you can shoot around the map. You have eight of them at base kit. You can shoot them pretty much anywhere that allows you. You'll see a green circle that tells you that you can uh, shoot it there. Once you have done so, you can then control these by going into them. You'll have a little arrow such as Freddy's teleport, which you can look at each and every one of your biopods, go through which ones you want to look at. If a survivor is in the range, you'll have to stare at them for a couple seconds and then it will shoot something at them. Once it shoots it at them, they will be infected, which what is known as a slipstream. If they go close enough to another survivor, they will also be affected with the slipstream. They can get rid of this slipstream by using an EMP, which are located around the map, uh, or in due time. Once they have the slipstream on them, you can either use your power again by just aiming your hand at them and shooting at them or going to another biopod and doing the same thing you did by looking at them through the biopod and go straight towards them. Uh, and then you teleport to them. Once you teleport to them, you will enter what is known as overclock mode. During this time, you will break pallets faster. You will vault faster. You'll destroy things faster. Um, you can also not be stunned during this mode. You'll just go a little bit slower. So once you teleport, it's pretty much go time to down the survivor ASAP. Now, the EMPs are pretty strong, I must admit. They have a pretty big range and they disable your biopods for a good amount of time. Uh, and survivors have pretty much tons of them all over the map. That is essentially the power. You basically shoot your little uh, biopods around, try to get as much survivors as you can. You can use this to control generators. You can use this while in chase. It works pretty good in both scenarios. And then obviously we have the perks. Uh, I mentioned this in my last video, so if you do want to pause, you're more than welcome to take a look at them. And then we have all the add-ons. Again, I'm just going to quickly hover over them. If you do want to pause the video itself and read exactly what they all do, you can. We're going to go ahead and jump on into a match right now. Sadly, the servers are down, so for you, it'll be in like five seconds. For us, it might be a little bit longer. These bots are really smart as well. You'll see what I mean once we jump on into a game. They've been kind of destroying me because they know when I go in my biopods and they just hide in corners so I can't hit them. But we'll try our best to get everything to work and to showcase the power to the best of their ability. When the servers are officially back up, I'll go into regular games and show you guys against that. So those are the add-ons. That's the power broken down for you guys. You obviously see the killer himself. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into the game. All right, we're finally in the game. <laughs> it only took us a year and a half, and we're not playing with bots because bots are OP and they wreck us every time. So I got Linksy and my community and her community, and we're playing, and we finally can see everything, guys. Say hello to YouTube chat again. I know we've been here for like uh, two hours, but we're finally here, and I'm so happy. We can finally play. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy. All right. <laughs> Let's play. We're playing against real people now, so not the bots. Oh my god, that vault is crazy. And we're playing against real people now, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, I like that. I think you could just jump up. Hey! Yeah! Can I do it again? Whee! There we go. It's Linksy. Alright, so there we go. Essentially... Uh, as we mentioned in the beginning, oh yeah, someone else got infected there. Look at that. They just EMP'd it, so keep that in mind. Hi. Essentially, if someone's already infected, you can go and either teleport to them. Oh. I'm trying. There we go. You can teleport to them or shoot more things at them. And once they actually have it, 
you can either use it again or aim with your weapon and kind of teleport to them. So I can do this, essentially. Shit, I missed. I missed again. <laughs> I think they actually got rid of it. Oh, they EMP that one. <gasps> you sneaky survivors. Oh. oh, I completely messed that up. That was my bad. Okay. YouTubes, I know. All right, well, this one's still EMP, so I'm just kind of letting it be. I think EMP lasts a little bit too long. Essentially, if you're watching this video and you're super duper confused, these are the biopods, and essentially you start off with eight of them. You can shoot them as long as it's green. Once you shoot them, you can then control them, and you have to shoot survivors by looking at them with line of sight for a couple of seconds. Once you shoot them, they'll have a biopod. The biopod will make it so that you can teleport to them the next time you use it, uh, and you basically go into overdrive mode. So if I do that, I hate that it, it, it gets me so disoriented at times. Oh, hi. So let's see. If I shoot a pod there and I go there, you see how that bar kind of fills up? Oh, trying. Yeah, you got to get perfect line of sight. Oh, there we go. Hold up. There we go. We got line of sight there. So that gets afflicted onto the survivor. And essentially, if they go to another person... Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> Ooh. I hate that it makes you look in the direction. Like, I'm trying to, like... Let's see. Yeah, you see, if the survivor stands behind something, like, you can't really hit him. But if they do that, you can, you can get him. And once they essentially have the biopod on them, you can then teleport to them again by using the same exact method or aiming your gun like this and just teleporting to them. Once you do that, you'll then be in what's known as overclock mode. Now, overclock mode basically makes you a little bit unstoppable. Like your pallets get broken faster, vault gets vaulted faster, you can't get stunned. Like you're basically in like a really strong, you know, mode just to hunt down the survivor. So, um, that's what that is. So let's, uh, let's try to do this. Oh, it feels so much better playing against real people than bots. Like the bots are just so like, they don't give you a chance, man. All right. I'm going to place these around, and shout out to everybody playing with me. I do appreciate it. All right, let's see. Put that up there. There's somebody. Oh, yeah, so you can see that person already had a pod. Now we're in overclock mode. You can know by the green static, and we do pretty much everything faster. So we can vault a little bit faster. We can do everything faster. There we go. And you can see this thing is basically stuck on them. And every time they go next to another survivor, it will infect them with it. So we're going to put him on the hook. There we go. And once you put him on a hook, the thing actually goes away. Um, what an easy type of drawing that isn't contour, expressive lines, or value study? I don't know what any of that means, Tiffy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. It's just me. Hi. Yeah, I get a little disorientated. I need to know which way it actually makes you look. Because I keep thinking that it will make you look in a certain way. Stick figures? Yeah, stick figures. <laughs> and yes, if you shoot your pod again, you can get rid of them. Alright, let's see. Oh, someone's here. Yeah, you see, it's so disorientating. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. And I shoot it this way, looking that way. I end up looking backwards, so it, sh it shows you backwards. Where I guess wherever the pod is facing, that's where you're looking. So if I do that, right? I should, yeah. There we go. All right. So now let me try to actually like aim at her and shoot at her itself. Let's see wherever she is. Yeah, so I can do that. Nope, I didn't get it. You gotta be a little bit accurate with it. She's gonna go for the vault here. Maybe not. Oh, hi. And there we go. I can shoot at her and and I can still get the power to work. You can see I vault faster. It doesn't last extremely long, but it gives you a little bit of a boost to try to catch up to the survivor. I think that needs to be a little bit longer in my personal opinion. On top of that, I think the EMP needs a little bit longer of a cooldown or, or like not to make it so intense. And I think that'll be pretty good. I still only got one hook. Like I'm going to have to learn a lot. 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff around the map. You guys are getting a good view of the map as well. It's an interesting map, to say the least. I think Lynx is going to run by here. Yep. Oh, that one's cooling down. Come on! Yes! There we go. She gets the vault here, so I'm just going to wait. Yep. There we go. Oh, she teleported. There we go. All right. Let's put her on the hook. So now we know. Now we're getting some good gameplay. And essentially, let's say I put this in the tree over here. I think I can just kind of look at her as well. Yeah, I could just... This is a good vantage point. Oh, here's some people. Hi. Nice. So yeah, we can just kind of teleport to people really quickly. Hi. Nice little train. And then for her, I can aim at her, for example, if I can get it. There we are. And I can kind of just shoot her. Oh, she didn't fall for it. There we go. Someone's coming down the stairs. Hello. All right. So we're, we're getting some better value out of it now than compared to bots. Hi. I really like that you can teleport by just looking at them. So like someone has it here, I just kind of aim and then shoot and then boom, I'm here. And I'm already like charged up and ready to go. So it's a little bit difficult to stop, you know? All right. <clears throat> Let's go get these hooks going. And hopefully we get this Mori working as well. From what I heard, pretty brutal. The hook to the hook to the hook we go. Everyone on the hook. Put you right there, my friend. And yeah, I feel like I could just put that. And then, like, the next time they go for a save, I'll be ready. Yeah, the bots just always have EMP ready. It's like, when you play against the bots, they are absolutely cracked. Alright, so I could do that, let it recharge, and then literally instantly teleport right here. Oh, actually, it won't let me. There's a cooldown on it. There it is. There's a little bit of a cooldown on it. Probably because I used it right when they got unhooked, or maybe because they were both there. Not sure. Huh. Oh, hi. That just got EMP'd. Oh, I feel like I just went after that person. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Hi, Jane. So, yeah, your power is pretty good for getting information and, like, using in situations like this. Like, just shoot it at a wall, shoot them, and then you can go to another one like this, let it recharge, and then just instantly teleport them, you know? Keep that chase going. So, if you use it in that sense, I think it works out really, really well. Um, in other situations, not necessarily so much. But that's a great way to just, like, quickly jump back into a chase. Genetic and it, it works quite nice. Yep, and we, we also have some voice lines for the killer. So there we go. Then I could... Well, that biobot's already there. And yeah, so it's good to have a couple of them around, so I can put one there, and then you can just, like, teleport if they go to a different angle. Well, somebody was here. We can see their blood. Oh, there they are. And that just instantly teleports to them. We're in our crazy mode right now. So, boom. We just hit him down. Now, I'm going to go here. See if anybody's around. I don't see anybody quite yet. Looking around. Oh, there's someone. I can shoot them. Then let that recharge. Then you can just kind of wait, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> there's Lacey. I wonder if she actually sees that. I think she does. Oh. I'm at the wrong one, so let me get out. Oh, I saw their feet. Yeah, I want... I think they do know. Oh, hi! What the... <laughs> Guys! Just healing right next to me. What is this? I was hoping she ran by this way. Oh. Alright. Let's kick this. Ow! That camping will definitely be not possible. I think so. They'll make some adjustments or at least a larger cooldown because I could just kind of sit there and then instantly teleport to them, you know? All right, I'm going to place this. Can I get it up there? Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, <gasps> hi. 
They popped a gen. Wait, she's our Rancor. Aha! Well, here we go. It's Mori time. Hopefully, we get a good view. Let's see. Oh, it's a little bit obscured. Oof. Damn. Oh, hi. <laughs> One for you. Yeah, it does have a pretty decent recharge time. That should teleport me. And then, smack. Oh my god, she's standing up. What the? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? what is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, somebody clipped that. What is that? Okay, I need you to, to come over here, maybe. In the clear. <laughs> what have you done to me? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Alright, here. I'll put you over here. It's a little bit more clear. I don't know what I did to you. Can I get some pods going? Let me see. Make it all scenic, you know? All right, there we go. Oh, it's so brutal, man. Ugh. Damn. Are you going to do it too? Ah, well, <laughs> I don't know what I have in here, but. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, this is pretty good for information though. Like you just teleport, then bam. Pretty good for information. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. And then you can just do that, get into your rampage mode, get ready to go, and then bam. No, you can't escape. I like it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and see what it looks like. All right, let's see. I get so disorientated with that. Yeah, it takes a while. I think when there's two people, or when they're just unhooked, I believe. Alrighty, it's Mori time. Wait, also wait. Let me see if Linksy can be Mori as well. I want to make sure. No, Linksy can't be more, so we need a hooker first. I don't want Linksy going away free! <laughs> that was that was pretty cool though. I, I like the Mori. Map overall, I aesthetically pleasing, really colorful, really nice, but I think it's like there is a lot of junk everywhere, so for other killers, it will be a little bit painful. I mean, I like the take on it. Like, it looks great for Dead by Daylight's first time doing something like that. Absolutely amazing. I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, so if someone just got unhooked, it takes a while to actually do that. But yeah, overall, pretty cool shit. Killer, pretty solid. I think you get some good information. Like, that's pretty good. Um, I think that's pretty solid. And, um... I like the power. Definitely more information based than helping you so much into a chase, but you can quickly teleport. And this Mori, chef's kiss. Ah, uh. oh, yeah, his face gets fucked up, man. Look at that. Oh my god. His face got fucked up. Damn. All right. You can die with Linksy. GG's. Oh, this one got a little censored. Damn, man. Oh, the face gets so, like, bloody. There's different bubbles as well on, like, all of them. Oh, yeah. That is brutal. That is brutal. I love it. Well, thank you guys for watching on YouTube. It took us a while to finally get this. The PTB came out 11. It is currently 1... 17 probably 130 or whenever you guys see this i appreciate all the love some support we'll still be live for a little bit thank you guys so much make sure you check out everybody that has played with us 
And as always, I'm the king. It's my currency, guys, and we'll see you in the fog.